Hi, welcome back to WeMake DevOps. In this recording, we will see how we can solve daemon set resource problem for CK exam as a free hit. We will start it with a one-liner definition that is for daemon set. The daemon set is a, again Kubernetes resource that ensure that all nodes, or you can say some nodes run a copy of same port, the same port going to be executed on either all node or you can say some node why we are saying it's some if we are aware about the tent and tolerance that is again is a different topic that the condition get applied for on the some node that time we are calling as a all or some node otherwise if there is a no uh, tent and tolerance kind of the condition that time in case of daemon set all nodes run a copy of same port. So if you want to go more deep dive for a daemon set, please follow this link. It's from Kubernetes.io. Directly now I'm coming on the problem. Problem is simple and straightforward. We need to create a daemon set from this image and we have to make sure all worker node having copy of same port as the feature of daemon set. Solution is quite straightforward. We need to create a daemon set manifest file. If you know the syntax, then you can create it directly and deploy it. But if you don't know anything about the syntax of daemon set, then again, you are having a fail. First of all, you need to create a deployment manifest file that is quite simple and straightforward. Already we discussed uh, the same command in earlier recording. Just execute this command. I executed this command that is going to create a deployment manifest file that is test.yml now i'm going to clear it and again i'm coming it here i created it now we are going to create this deployment manifest file that is the test.yml to a daemon set manifest file first of all we need to suppose we are not aware that what is the daemon set resource what is the spell for that word what kind of syntax will come then we are having two command handy. The first command is that we can get all API resources that are available in a Kubernetes cluster. Just I'm going to execute. So I will get all resource. So here I got that this is my daemon set. So with this name, I'm going to run again the same command that is solve here. Now I'm going to execute this command. This is going to me <clears throat> this is going to explain about what is daemon set, what is the syntax, but not fully, but it will help us to create that. So this is the command that will provide full information about daemon set. I created it and I go to know in case of daemon set, I need the kind as a daemon set and the version of extension, this one. Now it's time to manipulate our deployment file. So just I got explain and I open my test.yml that is my deployment manifest file. I copied it first this one and I'm going to change kind as a deployment and if you aware that I change it and one more change I have to make this one that is it's saying that version and if you can check that in my deployment file the version is for deployment apps even i'm going to change it as a now if you are if we already discussed that uh like if we are going with the daemon set that we don't require the spec like replica to and selector all these syntax for deployment so i can delete them you can delete replica selector match label and specs our strategy as well because these all are specific parameter for a deployment when we are going to uh, record any session about the deployment that time we will discuss the same as well as we need to deploy the status because in case of daemon set we don't remember now we are having a manifest file that is for daemon set so here when we started the time we are not aware about the daemon set we created the manifest file for the deployment with the help of these two command with the help of these two command, we are able to create the manifest file for the daemon set and we have to remove whatever the 
syntax required for deployment manifest file we have to remove all those all those uh, syntax now again i'm coming on it now we are having one file ready kubectl apply help and i'm going to deploy this file so when i'm going to deploy it my daemon set get created here and if i'm going to check it with kubectl get the daemon set so i can create it i can check it so this is my daemon set so i i'm having a single node here like if i'm going here kubectl get nodes I'm having a single node because I'm using Docker for desktop. So on the single node, this uh, replica get created. If I'm having multiple nodes, the same replica get copied on all other nodes. Now again, I'm coming on the same file. Now we are able to complete this problem, but there is, we have to take care some kind of the condition. Here we are having the question that we need to create that uh, daemon set on the old worker node but sometime for making a twist they can create some kind of 10 10 tolerance on the, some node and when we executed our daemon set that particular node not get uh, acquired that particular pod because of 10 10 tolerance so this is the document you can go ahead for 10 10 tolerance and if some node having 10 for no schedule and you need to uh, make sure that your pod get replicate on that particular node you need to remove that tent from that particular node here i don't have the use case even though they didn't ask the same kind of problem in the exam but for uh, making uh, more carefully you should aware about the tent and tolerance in case of daemon set because daemon set also going to create a pod and if any pod are having uh, any node are having any tent and uh, you can say the tolerance then that get poor not going to schedule on that particular node so make sure if this kind of twist will come in the exam you will handle by help of tent and tolerance and you can easily can check that a particular node are having a node that particular tents by kubectl describing that particular node you will get all information about tent and tolerance so that's it for this uh, demo thanks for watching and now i'm going to stop it